There's no space for you in my life or the afterlife. You made a huge mistake coming here and you should be ashamed of yourself. You better be single than married to this barren woman. Are you mad? Are you mad? My wife will get pregnant as I went due. You have no right to poke your nose in my affairs. Am I the only married woman who is yet to have a child? Why haven't you blessed me with a grandchild after five years of marriage? You didn't expect me to stop nursing some useless child. Now tell me, if I didn't hurt you for your father, who will inherit his chains of business enterprise? Who? I beg free meal, na cigarette I smoke, I no keep person. Is it the reason you refuse to join us on the church program? Are you the first person to be born again? What is the matter with you? You know, this country is full of bullshit. I think I can just use this thing again, get myself, make a do right. You don't understand? You know your mindset. You understand me? I don't care whatever lifestyle you have built out there. For how long will you tie my son from seeing the reality on the ground? But what is this lying? I am a woman. I will tell when a woman is lying or telling the truth. Why do you suddenly talk to me in this manner? When I have done nothing but love you. You gave us a wrong impression about the real you. That girl will not step her foot into this house. No blood of the Bukwes is raised outside. You blame you! Next time I see you near me, I will chop off your pencil like dick and chop it down your throat. Ow! Ow! They will make sense because you were not so drunk when you fell into her thighs! I wish I could just, you know, you know, turn back the hands of time and, you know, let all of this just wash away, erase off memories. Please, have mercy upon me. Look upon me with mercy and show yourself strong and mighty in my sentiments. You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures, too.